Okay, so this might be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to try to put back together a Bowley Lock Rotisera. Um, yeah, wish me luck. So I, I'm just going to start with the uh, Bible here. This is the front of the lock. We've got some um, uh, springs and ball bearings to put in. So let's just pop these springs in first. They sit sort of flush in there, so that isn't too bad. Ball bearings are always a pain to get into um, a lock though, so hopefully I can just pop them in above the spring, push down on them. There we go, and just slide along. So but ball bearings are always a massive pain because they, they just roll everywhere. There we go, come on. That's two. And that is three. And then we can just leave that to one side up here. So that's all good. Now we need to align the discs. And I did put these in order and, uh, and the right way up. So what I need to do is rotate the tab on the inside to that position in the center. So I've already put the first uh, disc and space in. So that's there like that and then sort of rotate it around like that and then drop in a spacer. And we'll worry about the external tabs in a second. What we'll do is we'll just find those. So it's like that down the center, that internal tab. And I hope this works, that I did pull them out in, a, in the right way. All the way down to the bottom and then rotate it around to the side okay and then the next spacer then the next disc with its tab all the way down and basically what I'm doing by rotating it is I'm just locking that sort of tab in so it behaves and stays in place then we've got that central spacer which um is where the uh, sidebar will go. So I'll just drop that in there. And uh, again, it's got a little tab on it, which I think is a locating tab, but we'll let's move them roughly all together like that. So yeah, we'll carry on. So spacer, last disc it does have a little alignment, but um, it'll sort of sit on now. We need to align all the little tabs counterclockwise the most part so that the discs don't go out of, go out of line. So uh, that top one's going to be a pain I can tell. And then try and get them all to and that center disc as well. Try and get them all aligned to about there. I think should be able to wriggle that disc pack down here as long as we get all the slider tabs aligned like this. And it doesn't matter about the top one particularly, as long as we get that seated, we should be able to drop this back in somehow. Like that, I think. Yes. Now that's in, we can put in the pusher, which goes in one way, and that appears to be this way. I'm just checking, yeah, everything seems to be aligned, so that will drop down. And then, we can put the uh, back piece on and just put this pin in like that. Then we should be able to test the lock. If it all goes wrong, then we'll know now. So we've got the um, idler all the way around, so we can just reset it like that. Put the key in. And there shouldn't be any issues. And if there is, 
then what we can do is we can just push the discs to one side um, and then try again. So we can do that. We can move the idle around like this. There we go. All the way up. That'll catch all the discs and reset them. So then we can just rotate it back round and that should leave a gap at the bottom. If it isn't, then I th think there might be something that I haven't rotated around. Let's have a look. I'll just I'll just double check. It should be, once it all ah there we go perfect. <gasps> Do you know what? Look at that. It's almost great. Something's something's wrong though. I don't think I got the first disc in the correct way round. Everything else is perfect, but disc one, would you believe? Um, I've accidentally put in the wrong way round. I think because that is where the true gate is and it over rotates. So something isn't right, but I know what it is and that's fine. It's much better than not knowing what it is, that's for sure. Um, and I think if we're lucky, we might be able to tease it off the front since it's the first one and then put it in the right way around. So, um, let me just move that first disc. So we know that's right. And then we should be able to just grip all of this and slide it off. I'm hoping I don't need to undo the whole thing. I'm hoping I can just um, coax the, because of its position, the first disc off like that, and then flip it around, give it a rotate, and, um, and pop it back in. There we go, I think that should have solved it. So only one way to find out. Okay, so we just need that spacer in the right position because it's just jumped out a bit. That's aligned. Drop this in at its correct position, which is here. And then again, drop in the back. Turn that to the right side. Pop the pin in. Um, make sure that we sort of reset all the discs. Um, clear, I'm going to clear them with a, a pick like that and then try and put the key in. Not everything is all clear at the back, I don't think. Perfect, we got it. In, rotate. Oh, got it in, rotate, and push back. There we go. We should have them all aligned, all the discs, which is perfect, just there. Good, right. Next stage. Um, something isn't quite right still, so I think that even though it's working, something isn't rotated the right way round. I'm wondering whether it's that idler or not. So all the discs seem to be turning the right way. Ah, uh, I think I know what it is. I think I've got the back of the lock on backwards. So drop that in. I think that the top of the lock needs to go here like that. Yeah, I think so. So maybe I've got that the wrong way around. Let's try that. 
again need to clear the idler out of the way scoop any discs around where they need to be just because you know taking it apart ah there we go that's perfect i didn't have the back on properly watch this all neutral pop the key in rotate it should just jump in now and that's perfect to test it before we go any further we make sure that that ramp there is facing to the left the key isn't turned so it's sticking out we push the key in so actually rotate it all the way back out starts again and then put that in and it goes flat so remove out it jumps up turn it around remove it put it back in it jumps down and it's closed again so that we know is now perfect we can now push this in uh, to the keyway like that and it should rotate around freely as if it was open which it sort of is and then I can pinch the back um, rotate that out that sidebar is now popped up we can still pull it out, but it won't rotate round. And then move the key round and remove it. So we know that that's working. Okay. So you've got to bear in mind that whole cassette will will come out. It's a bit of a pain. Um, I will put the tailpiece on just because you know. So it's a cool lock, and that it does belong to it, and it's a bit of a collector's piece for me. So um, put the rear retaining pin spring in. Put the pin in. There we go, put the spinning tailpiece disky thing in like that. Carefully slide the top down like this. Find something to gently push on this locking pin type thing and trying to just get the tailpiece to bite. It's always a bit fiddly. I think that's right. I tell that this is going to be the, the hardest bit of the lock assembly is going to be me getting this stupid tailpiece on. They're always such a pain. They really are. Right, let's try again. So I've got to line the threads, put the push the little pin down, and try and get it to bite. Yeah, we got it. Good, that's much nicer. I think that's okay. We need one more little turn. Like all of these locks, the alignment is better when it's just tight. Um, maybe I could do one more notch, one more notch. Or two, maybe three. Yeah, can't be too tight that it's not usable, but let's put the key in and see if it uh, works. Yeah. So that feels pretty good to me. Let me do one more notch because like most lots, when they're aligned properly and it's it's nice and tight at the back but not too tight, um, it just behaves better. Yeah, I like that. That seems, it doesn't seem too tight. I like that. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Then we can pop that back into the outer piece like that. Get our little, I don't know what you call these, like semi serrated spring type things which basically hold everything on a bit tighter and stop the screw from slipping. Get my screwdriver and we are done. Phew! Anyway, thanks for watching. This is my uh, side noob side channel to my main channel lock noob i hope you enjoyed watching me reassemble this uh, uh brand new bowley uh, road to Sura. um such a cool lock 
please do go watch my video on me gutting this and explaining how it works on my main channel. If you have a comment, please leave a comment. I read them all, I reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, I'll see you all next time.